common question I see from people looking to get into the cybersecurity field is, do I need a college degree? And the true answer is, it really depends. In this video, we're going to cover whether or not you should get a college degree in order to work in cybersecurity. And we're going to weigh the pros and cons of going and getting a college degree. So we're going to be very straightforward, very blunt, and very honest in this video. And I hope that you find it very valuable and that hopefully it can be useful for you when it comes to making the decision about college. So we're going to take a quick word from our sponsor and then we're going to just jump right into this thing. Today's sponsor is FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot is an ergonomic furniture company that specializes in some pretty awesome standing desks. I first heard about FlexiSpot when I saw a couple of my friends review their FlexiSpot standing desks. First it was Zach Hill showing off his FlexiSpot, and then it was John Hammond raving about his. And given how small my desk was, how unorganized the cables were, and how terrible my posture was, I knew I had to have one of these desks. FlexiSpot was kind enough to send over a FlexiSpot Classic Standing Desk. This bad boy is a whopping 78 inches by 30 inches, has a beautiful bamboo curved desktop, and made cable management incredibly easy. The desk keypad is easy to use, with an up arrow to lift the desk up to 51 inches, and a down arrow to drop the desk down to as low as 25.4 inches. My favorite part about this desk, however, are the three memory banks the desk comes with. I can easily store my favorite sitting and standing heights, and retrieve those at the push of a button. I truly love this desk. Even better, FlexiSpot just released these neon lights, which can go above your desk or under your desk or just set that mood lighting. They're completely customizable. They have DIY settings, which is pretty awesome. You can completely control the lights and everything from your smartphone, which is neat as well. Now, if you're interested in getting any of their products, they're running a discount for Prime Day from the 11th to the 12th of July. That's up to 50% off for the next two days. This is the best discount they're running all year. So make sure you check out FlexiSpot with the links in the description below. Listen, college degrees can be important. I tell people that it's not necessary for you to go out and get a college degree, but it really depends what you want to do in your life and also what your degree is in. But there's also a lot of factors alongside of those things that are important when it comes to college. And what we really need to weigh is what is called opportunity cost. All right, so I try to break this down into simplistic terms. So what is opportunity cost? Well, this is the loss of potential gain from other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. So what does that even mean? Well, that means is what happens if you go to a four year degree as opposed to going and just getting a job? So let's say that right now you can go get a job because you went and self-studied, you got certifications, whatever it might be, and you can get a job starting at $70,000 a year in cybersecurity. By the way, these numbers are all made up. Don't take them for real values. I'm just giving you an idea of opportunity cost, all right? So let's say that you give up $70,000 a year, you go to school for four years full time, and you're unable to work. Well, during that time, then you are giving up $280,000 in potential salary. And if you acquire $100,000 in debt as well in order to do this, well, now your true debt is actually $380,000 at the end of four years that you've given up with salary and debt that you have to pay back. We're not accounting for any inflation. We're not accounting for any interest, anything here. These are all arbitrary numbers. Take them as you will. But let's say that your first job out of college pays $110,000 a year. You got no raises there and you got no raises from your old job. Again, no inflation exists in this imaginary world. Well, is it worth it? Well, yeah, it would take 10 years almost for you to make your money back. You're making $40,000 now a year more than you would have, but you're also $380,000 in debt. So if you do the math, that's about nine and a half years that it would actually take for you to get your money back on this investment. Now, everything's not as black and white as that example. So you really have to ask yourself for your situation, is it worth going to college? Do you have a school paid for? If you have a full ride, maybe it's a little bit better. You don't have $100,000 in debt. If you don't think you're going to get a high paying job without college, okay, maybe that changes the equation for you. But you really need to look at the opportunity cost before you decide on going to college. Another thing is cybersecurity is a weird field. It's something that is growing in its prominence, but it wasn't always that prominent. We're thinking about it more and more as we go, but 
Honestly, cybersecurity programs that are out there, they're hit or miss. People go and get college degrees in cybersecurity and then they end up learning things that aren't really relevant to the field. Cybersecurity changes so fast that most college curriculums can't even keep up with the pace of the field. So unless you're picking a school out that is top notch, high quality, is keeping up with the trends of cybersecurity, there's a chance that you're getting a degree and that degree is not even as beneficial as it could be to you. So are you wasting your time? Are you just checking a box? Who knows, really? So you need to really make sure you're doing your due diligence on top of weighing your opportunity costs. You need to make sure the school you're going to is a good school and is of value for you. Another thing to consider is cybersecurity degrees are great, but I do push people towards computer science if they should want to do that. Computer science and cybersecurity, they overlap heavily. A computer science degree is going to be significantly harder, in my opinion, than getting a cybersecurity degree, but a computer science degree has a lot of fallback. If you, for example, do not end up liking cybersecurity, well, you didn't just waste four years in college on a degree like I did doing an accounting degree. You can actually utilize your computer science degree for other things. You don't have to just go work in cybersecurity. You can go work as a developer. You can work in other things that relate to computer science. Programming has many applications in this world. So that should be something that you should be considering as well. When it comes down to getting a cybersecurity degree or just getting a degree in general to work in cybersecurity, you need to weigh what it is that you want to do in your career. If you want to just be somebody that is a technical individual, I don't really think that you need to go get a degree. It's probably a waste of time. If you're somebody that loves to be hands on keyboard, you love to be technical, the degree is not really going to move the needle for you, in my opinion. If you told me, hey, someday I want to be a manager. OK, well, then for management, usually a degree is needed to check the box. And while we're on the topic of checking the box, we also need to discuss the college degree in general. We do a lot of hiring for cybersecurity jobs, and the majority of our applicants, if not almost all of them, have degrees. Does it matter to us as an employer whether or not you have a college degree? Absolutely not. But we are just one employer. When you talk about all the employers that are out there, if you do not have a college degree, some of them are going to throw your resume away. That is something that if you choose not to go to college that you have to be okay with. Are you okay with eliminating yourself from some jobs? If the answer is yes, that's fine. If the opportunity cost for you doesn't make sense to go to college, then that's fine as well. You just have to make sure that you know all the challenges that are going to be ahead of you if you're choosing to go into this field. So ultimately, if the opportunity cost makes sense, if you can go to school, if you can work part time, whatever it might be for you and you want to go get a college degree, it's ultimately going to open more doors for you. You're going to have better opportunities at jobs and just getting in with your foot in the door. Um, personally, me, for example, I worked at a national lab for the government. The big reason that I got that job was because I had a master's degree and I had a clearance. The master's degree ended up getting me a senior title. If I did not have a college degree at all, they would not have considered me at all for that position. So that I was thankful for. That was something that where my degree benefited me even though my degree wasn't in the field of cybersecurity or even IT, which is where I was working. So it was one of those things where, yeah, I literally checked the box to meet government standards and ended up making it and making it out OK. And that was a benefit. But did my college degree get me all the jobs that I have? No, honestly, no. I could be doing a lot of things without that degree. I could have worked as a penetration tester, an ethical hacker in the field of cybersecurity and had no issues. My college degree has been incredibly useful for my role as a CEO, for being a manager, for doing a lot of these things, and it's been incredibly helpful there. But again, that's management. If you want to be a technical person, hands-on keyboard, you don't truly need that degree. Go self-study, go get certifications, do whatever it is you want to do. Just know if you don't have a college degree, you're probably going to limit yourself on some of the job opportunities, but you will have job opportunities. If you do want to be management, I would say getting a bachelor's degree, check that box. That can be incredibly useful. If you ever want to be C-level, you're probably going to need to go get a master's degree and just move on from there. So ultimately, a degree is not harmful, but it can be harmful for you monetarily if the opportunity cost is not there. And this is mostly applying to U.S. standards. I realize in some other countries, college degrees are way much heavier than what I'm talking about here. But for the overall whole of IT, especially in the United States, you don't necessarily need that degree. 
So hopefully this is useful for you. This is me just kind of ranting in a spiel, but I get this question so often that I felt like I needed to weigh in on it. So hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please do consider liking the video, subscribing, sharing with a friend, comment down below, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, that's it. So my name is Heath Adams, AKA The Cyber Mentor, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.